Hey guys, good morning, happy Saturday. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. Um, I wanted to do kind of a different reading today. I just, you know, asked Spirit to guide me. I just pulled the cards um, and I said, I'm just going to read the messages that come through. Um, and very quickly, um, they told me when I pulled these cards that it was um, a divine feminine and a divine masculine energy of um, the DM and DF that are in separation right now. So again, this is a collective reading, so this may resonate um, with a group of you. If it doesn't, just click off. Um, I actually have some new readings that I'm offering you guys and a coaching package, a coaching package now as well. Um, just see below for the information. So I kind of doing things a little bit differently now. Now you can just click on the PayPal link um, to send me um, the payment and also just put in there which reading you'd like. You don't have to email me first. Um, all the information is below. So you just send the, the PayPal and then um, if there are questions for your reading, you can send those to me in a separate email. Um, or you can forward like the PayPal confirmation with uh, the, the questions that you want to ask if that pertains to your reading. Um, and all again, all that information is below if you guys are interested. And thank you for everyone who's booked personal readings. I am all caught up right now. So I do have some time this, this weekend if anybody else is interested. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, if you're interested in a coaching package, uh, please do know that those are very limited. Um, so if you're interested in that, I would book it uh, as soon as possible because there is a wait, uh, a wait list for those. So, um, you know, again, all that information is below. If you have any questions, you can always email me um, in regards to the readings or the packages. OK, uh, and thank you guys again to everyone who's donated to the channel. You guys, I love it. It makes me so happy. And um, there's a deck of cards I really want to get right now. Uh, by Mystic Moon, um, and they're actually like Twin Flame specific cards, but they're not on Amazon. Um, so any donations made to the channel uh, are going to be going towards me purchasing that deck. Uh, so again, you know, if you guys want to send anything, it's always used in love and light. Um, and it's used for the channel. Um, you can just send it right to that PayPal link below as well. Or if you want to, um, you know, send a gift from my Amazon wish list. I am like so grateful for all of those too. I actually had one of my um, subscribers uh, and followers send me this beautiful um, Dreams of Gaia Tarot deck. It's by um, Raven Falon. And I love this deck so, so, so much. It is so beautiful. So thank you, Devin, for sending this to me. Um, I'm getting to know this deck. It's a little bit foreign to me right now, but I, you know, I want to, um, I want to bring you some messages from it because spirit really guided me to use this deck today. So, you know, again, I'm going to probably look up some of the definitions because, you know, I don't know the cards as well as some of the other ones, but they're so beautiful and there's so many messages in these and it's not, you know, your standard, uh, tarot deck. So I'm really excited to get into the reading. Uh, you know, again, thank you guys so much for, for liking and subscribing and commenting. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. As soon as I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a free reading and mini coaching uh, session. So, um, you guys make sure you subscribe and click that little bell. So you get notifications when I post new videos. Um, and if this reading resonates with you, please like and comment below. I love to hear your feedback. Okay. Um, so let's get into the reading. If you guys want to timestamp me, feel free. Uh, reading's going to start at about four minutes. Okay. So the overall energy here to me was divine masculine and divine feminine are both stepping into their power. Okay. That was like the energy that I, that, that I got from this. The very last card that I pulled was this card and I actually didn't know what it was, but I thought, okay, so the masks are coming off. So this is about a divine masculine and a divine feminine that are both spiritually awakened. Um, and the awakening may have just happened. I'm feeling like it's just happening to the divine masculine because he is in his king of fire energy. And again, you know, I've been seeing so much Leo lately. So, you know, again, if you're a Leo, this may be a special message for you. There's the lion. I mean, look how beautiful that is. So we've got this king of fire. So right off the bat, I got, okay, this is the divine masculine energy here. These two cards represent the divine masculine energy. So king of fire. So he is in his fire, fire energy right now. Again, you know, he's like feeling feisty and anxious to get this moving because there's been like an enlightenment. Okay. 
Um, and then this is the six of fire. And I was like, what does this card mean? Um, and what it means, I'm going to actually read it because it was really, really interesting. So this divine masculine in this particular reading, um, maybe, maybe married, uh, maybe involved in some sort of legal situation, um, that's coming to an end. Okay. Uh, let's see, six of fire. Okay, so this is, it's resolution is needed. Communication and diplomacy is required. So it says the six of fire represents a time of healing through meditation, negotiation, or arbitration. It is time when communication and diplomacy is required to, in order to end a conflict or dispute. And again, I get this energy here that, um, that there's been a lot of tension and a lot of fire in his life. Um, and so, you know, he, but that's coming to a resolution. Okay. It's coming to a resolution because he's healing, he's healing, he's going inward. And both of these cards are about meditation. Okay. So he's go, so I felt like this is the masculine energy here. Okay. And what's interesting is, is that, you know, he's going to heal all of this. The masks are going to come off and eventually this is going to happen into this beautiful union. Okay. Um, I also pulled the father card. So again, this is about family and again, just being like a stand up guy, like a stand up guy. And, you know, I really feel this divine masculine is a really good person. Okay. He's a really good person. He's ending this conflict that's been happening in his life, but he's a really, really good person. He may have been a little bit derailed. They're telling me he may have, you know, gotten a little bit off track. You know, there's been a lot of conflict. He may have engaged in some behaviors that aren't really the true him. But again, that mask is coming off. Okay, that mask is coming off. Now, um, the center of the energy here, this is the 10 of water. And it's such a beautiful definition. And to me, you know, this felt like the feminine energy, but it also felt like this is the overall outcome. That's what it felt like to me because it's in the center of the reading. So I'm going to read this definition to you guys too. This is the 10 of water. So the, the keywords are universal love, divine connection, centeredness, and it's in the center of the reading. Okay. Serenity, peace, oneness, um, truly living in the present, a feeling of divine connection. So again, I feel like the masks are coming off these, you know, this divine masculine and this divine feminine have both been spiritually awakened. Okay. Again, I feel the divine feminine because I feel a little bit more of her energy right here. She's a little bit farther along in the process. Okay. Um, but again, it's the 10 of water symbolizes both a beginning and an ending. Okay. So an ending is coming to a cycle in his life. And again, I feel like it's a marriage could be a karmic relationship. Um, could even just be like the ending of an era. They're telling me an ending of an era. Like it could have been like a major career shift too, but I'm really feeling like it's an end of a relationship with a person. Um, and you know, they're moving towards this oneness. And it's interesting because the divine feminine, she's really, again, this message just keeps coming out. She is in her power. And I want to show you guys. So we've got the king of fire here, and then we get the three of water next to the king of fire. And, you know, the way that this came out, I'm not, sometimes I have a hard time showing backwards, but she's looking at him and she's saying, come to me, come to me. I am here. I am ready. I have been in this energy. So this is the crone. So this is like a woman that's standing on her own in her own power. She's like, I am in my own power right now, but I am ready for you to come forward. Divine masculine. I'm ready. My heart is open. I'm ready to receive your love, your divine love, because I know you've been working on yourself. You've been working on yourself. Okay. And then we've got the scribe and I love this card and I'm going to read the definition to you guys too. This is the 12 of fire. This is such a beautiful deck. I just love it so much. I literally just want to sit here and like, re again, read all these definitions. Um, I'm sorry, not the 12 of fire. That's the 12 of air. I just want to sit here and read all these definitions and get to know this deck like backwards and forwards because it just speaks to me so much. All right. 12 of air, the scribe. <clears throat> okay. So the key phrases in this are look for an unbiased source, be objective and seek multiple perspectives. Okay. Um, document your life journey. Uh, so the scribe is the record keeper, the keeper of all knowledge and information about past, present, and future. He is a priestly man, although not necessarily a religious one. His religion is knowledge and wisdom, tradition, mythos, and law, 
philosophy, religion, and science, mathematics, and the arts, history, current events, and events that are coming. So what that they're telling me right now is this is coming. The masks are coming off. And the scribe is basically like this is almost like the divine stepping in and giving both the divine masculine and the divine feminine all this information that they need to know to help them take their masks off and understand who they truly are on the inside okay mind body spirit divine you know 5d 3d all of it and it's it's like happening wow that's amazing okay so i want to pull a few more cards all right, so they're telling me to pull from the Rumi Oracle. All right, so Spirit, what's the overall message? What's the overall message that we need to know right now? Sorry, these cards get a little bit sticky sometimes. You know what I'm going to do? Do this. What is the overall message, Spirit? Right now, what do we need to know? sacred convergence okay so i'm going to read this definition to you guys look how beautiful these cards are too i love artwork i love like all the vibrant colors and the, oh so pretty um okay oh and guys this is an 11 card okay so overall yes union is coming and i believe that this is a union card if i've pulled this in a couple of my readings and i remember it is there's yeah Sacred convergence indicates a coming together of souls and alignment with a greater cause. I mean, do I need to say any more than that? This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. There is an aspect of joining together for a common purpose, which is, as you know, this is what the whole twin flame journey is about. That common soul purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief. And this is what I am seeing. These two, This divine masculine, this divine feminine are literally like pulling each other towards this union. I mean, it's such an amazing energy. I love it. I love it. Um, that common soul purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief, to shed fear and open the heart, filling each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal, passionate purpose. I literally just got butterflies in my stomach. Wow. Wow. I'm like feeling this, I'm feeling there's so much emotion here. Holy cow. <laughs> this is not my emotion. This is somebody who's watching this motion. If anybody just teared up, this reading is 100% for you because I just got, that wasn't me. Um, this oracle has come to you because you are part of a greater sacred convergence happening now. Perhaps you have already sensed its progression or perhaps it will not be obvious to you, but the effect, whether obvious or subtle, will be important to your soul development and divine awakening. This oracle comes with a special message. Perhaps you've been thinking about shedding lower vibrational connections based in the ego world of power games, sabotage, manipula manipulation, and fear. So it's saying, do not stay in those low vibrations, okay? Lift your um, vibration and know that this oracle comes to you with guidance that the possibility for more joyful relationship and growth of love within is in your power. You can choose each day, each moment, just make a choice. Trust yourself, your discernment and your intuition and choose. You do not owe anyone anything. Um, and so this convergence shall bring this convergence of souls on the path of love, your soul tribe, your soul family, your new tribe of those journeying upon the path of love. So this was such a beautiful reading, you guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. If this resonated, please like and comment below. Um, and thank you, Spirit, for leading us to this message today. It was just absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm sending you guys love and light. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.